Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope everyone's having an amazing day and a happy spring to everyone who lives on the Northern Hemisphere, like me. And uh, it was the first day of spring, so very excited about that. And I'm going to be watering uh, some of my indoor desert type of cacti for the first time after their winter rest. And I'm going to be focusing just on these two trays of cacti here because I have a lot of selection of different types of cacti and succulents here in, uh, in the grow room. But some of them I have still been keeping lightly watered over the winter, such as the uh, Ripsalis on here, but the stand here, with a lot of the hanging basket cacti. And I've been keeping them lightly watered because they're epiphytes and they do still like to be kept lightly watered over the winter. They like more humidity. And obviously I've got a selection of things like Hoyas and uh, Orchids, Seedlings and Epiphytic Cacti as well. Some of the Hylocerius dragon fruit varieties. I've been giving them a bit, bit of water as well over the winter. Seedlings and um, the like there. They still need to be lightly watered. And also my other young seedlings that I've got here. Some of these I recently sowed and some young little cactus seedlings all here. I've still been giving a bit of water throughout the winter. And these here as well, these are Selenicerius varieties and more Ripsalis there. And some of my young seedlings as well I've been keeping watered. But the majority of cacti, these two on these two trays, I have kept completely dry. And also all of the ones in the window. And before I have to apologise guys for the disgusting state of my windows. But it's not actually dirt. I use neem oil, obviously, onto a lot of the plants and it goes onto the glass and leaves a horrible whitewash, filthy appearance. When these come out into the polytunnel, in the next few weeks, I'm going to give the windows a really good clean. So apologies for that. It looks disgusting. But you know what it's like when you can't reach the plants. When uh, To clean the windows, you've got that many plants, you can't reach in there. And uh, But anyway, these are the two trays. Now, the majority of cacti on these two trays here and also... The ones in the window here, some of the Ariocarpus uh, there and the Strombo cactus, were gifted to me by a very kind gentleman called Simon who lives in London. And he contacted me in September and he said he wanted to gift me a load of amazing cacti so he could have, have make more space in his apartment to sow more seeds. And I went, oh yes, that would be lovely. And when I did the unboxing, I was completely blown away by how many incredible and rare cacti that he gifted to me. So Simon, if you're watching this, thank you so much. Your cacti have overwintered amazingly well. And guys, if you didn't see that video when I did the unboxing of these amazing rare cacti, a majority of, of very amazing Lophophoras and other rare cacti, then do check that video out. Links will be up above and down below in the video description. It's just incredible. And uh, I had, when I got them, they were all dry rooted and I potted them up in dry cactus soil and they've been totally dry all through the winter. So I haven't given them any, I've never, I've never watered them since I've had them. So this is going to be their for, first watering from me. And uh, they're already sort of starting sh showing signs of uh, waking up as well. And they're also with, with these, the so Lofa 4 is a good example. You can tell when they need watering because they start to go a little bit shriveled as you can see there and they have a spongy appearance to them when when you touch them they feel a bit spongy so they definitely need a good a good water the first water of the year and i've got some other type of cacti here as well this one is a beautiful um gymnocleisum fried rishi Vinci, and this was gifted to me by my friend wonderful friend catherine from purple and thorns and look at that guys it's in big bud and uh, i have given this a, this is one of them i have given a little bit of water because it was coming into bud quite early so i watered that and also these two as well these are cory panthers that i've grown from seed i did water them a little bit in the winter because they were starting to shrivel as I did a couple of these, of these other ones as well, Homolacephala, Texentis are grown from seed, and a couple of the of my little small astrophytums that needed a watering. But all the other ones have been kept totally dry, including all the ones that Simon gave me, I haven't given any water at all to. And uh, what I wanted to talk about is watering cacti for the first time after winter. Now, I'm always being asked this, and I have made a whole video on how to water cacti and succulents and I explain a lot more detail in there because it depends on many different things. If you haven't seen that video, it's a bit of a long video, but if, if you can watch it, it's really in depth. Do check that video out. Links will be up above and also down below in the video description. I talk all about how to water cacti and succulents. But a little bit in brief. When it comes to starting to water them after the winter rest, it really does depend on your conditions because 
as I mentioned, I have the majority of my cacti and succulents in the polytunnel that is kept heated. We have a heater on in there that kicks on if it drops below 41 uh, Fahrenheit, which is about 5 Celsius. But because it is still cold in there, especially of a night time, then I won't be giving them any water now, possibly until April, certainly not for another two weeks possibly depending on how how warm it is obviously the temperature at the time of year but these are my indoor cacti and they're in a warm room and it gets it gets very warm in here ideally it's too warm to really overwinter them but I can't really do much about it I keep them all dry and um, that's the next best thing but because it is warm and it is spring now days are, are, are much getting much longer and as you can see, there's a lot of sun already coming over onto the table. They get plenty of light and they're showing signs of waking up. As I mentioned, this here is a frailia also that's in bud too. This was also a lovely gift from Catherine at Purple and Thorns here on YouTube too. Lovely to see buds on that. And um, a lot of them, as though this is my little um, baby toes frailia that's also coming into bud. So time to start watering them, I think. But I'm just going to focus on these two trays, as I mentioned, because these are the ones that... I'm going to need a, a drink today. So as I say, it does depend on many, many factors when it comes to watering them. And do stay tuned for future videos, probably the next couple of weeks or so, when I do start to introduce water into the polytunnel to water the desert cacti for the first time in the polytunnel after the winter rest. But this is just going to be the desert ones indoors. Now I've got a mixture of many different types here. As I said, mentioning, sorry, mostly Lophophoras. Here I've got some Areocarpuses there, a Matocana there, gifted to me also by my wonderful friend Claire, a Cactus Cove here on YouTube. That's in bud, good to see. And they're beautiful Lophophora um, fishes there and Lophophora diffusas, um, Epilianthe micromerises, three of them there, a mixture of different Lophophora caspatitosas here. These, by the way, were all Lophophoras that Simon, when he gifted to me, he'd grown them from seed, so many years, so very, very extra special. Uh, Lophophora williamsi variety decipens, two of them there, and uh, a mixture of Lophophora williamsis, all grown from seed from Simon. I've grown a lot of Lophophora myself from seed as well, but this is always extra special when it's from other people and all these. So these are going to need a, a good drink for the first time. These little astrophytums are ones I've grown from seed myself a few years ago. Lophophora texensis is three of them that i grown from seed, from uh, seed that was gifted to me from my wonderful friend Clyde, Clyde Morris here on uh, YouTube. And they're really cute, see little spines on them. Been giving them a little bit of water throughout the winter, obviously, because they're seedlings. But all those have been dry. And there's a Corypantha micromerises as well, also from Simon. So very exciting. So that's a little bit of bit of talking about a bit of the history behind them all. And now I'm going to start watering. Now, it's always best when you do start to water. Always, that watering is always best. Personally, my experience, best to water sort of late afternoon, sort of early evening time. And definitely don't, don't water them when the sun is on them in direct sunshine because the water droplets can cause the plants to scorch. Now, it's, it's sort of late afternoon here now um, and the sun is going to be going out pretty soon. I'm going to be able to give them a good water for the evening and that's always best if you can do. And uh, I'm just going to leave it a little bit longer because the sun is still on these plants. So probably going to leave it another hour and then give them a good watering. And I'm going to show you, show you giving them a water. And then what I like to use, I like to use one of these pump dispensers, these sort of pumps that you fill up. They've got the measurements on and uh, they're much easier because the long handles, then you could direct them into the pots. It's very difficult when you have a lot of plants together to try and reach with a normal watering can. So these are great. I mentioned that sort of all in the how to water cacti succulents video and uh, with the desert type of cacti in the polytunnel I'm probably going to start them all up with some uh, plant feed, feed I'm going to be using a tomato feed because that I find encourages blooming I use it at half strength anyway when I use it on cacti but I use it at probably a quarter strength when I water them for the first time because I don't want to scorch the roots I'm going to use a more dilute form again of the tomato feed to encourage the bloom of the, the first first watering but I haven't I'm not going to use it on these because as I say these have recently they've been repotted in the September so they've recently been repotted and there's plenty of fertilizer in the soil already so I don't want to be adding any more so that's why I won't be using tomato feed in these and uh, obviously that's that's best not to put too much just going to be using plain water 
rainwater, but you can use tap water as well if you let the water stand ideally for 24 hours. For example, Lophophoras are quite, they, they're quite safe to use hard water with because they grow on lime, limestone anyway in their natural habitats. But some cacti don't like hard water, so rainwater is always best if you can get it. So that's a little bit of that waffle going on. And uh, now I'm gonna leave it for a little bit um, till the sun goes down and then give them all a good water. Now that's the sun, it's completely gone out the window now and uh, all the plants are sort of settling down more so for the evening. I've still got the grow lights on, but I'm gonna switch them off after the video. It's just easier for the camera to show you what I'm doing when I have the grow lights on. And uh, it's just, as you can see, outside starting to go a little bit dark now, so it's a good time to start watering them. And I've got my little hose, uh, hose lock spray here. So I'm gonna start off, first of all, with the areocarpus in the corner. There, and I always put the right to the the roots, give them a good water for the first time there. And uh, as you can see the little area carpet is there sort of shriveling also because they need the good water. This is the first watering I've ever given these so that's good. And, uh, You don't want to go too mad when you start watering. That just, this is just enough water. Obviously, sometimes the water can come straight out the bottom of the pot, but because I've used a good, good soil, it should hold some of it there. I don't want to bore you all watering the whole of these plants. I'm just going to show you a few, watering the first few and uh, then show you when I've done them all. People often ask me when you have water for the first time, is it good to give them just a little bit of water or a good watering? I personally, because they're all kept dry all over the winter, I like to give the first watering a very good watering and then I leave it them and then until they sort of fatten up and obviously because it's still early, very early spring I um, be very careful with the watering now I won't be giving these any more water probably possibly even for another couple of weeks up to a month once they've had their good good water and then depending on how hot it is and the condi weather conditions and everything like that one thing I like with using these hose as well, you can also, it doesn't matter if you get a bit of water onto these type of cacti such as Lophophores. In fact, a little bit of overhead watering helps to clear any dust away as well, as long as you make sure that you don't leave any water in the crown of the plant here. I always dab it with a bit of tissue paper if there's any water remaining after I've given it all a good water, but it's a great way to also get rid of dust off the top of them as well. And that's it, that's them all done. I'm just going to make sure that any excess water that's in the crown of the, the lofts is dabbed off. And uh, just to make sure that it doesn't stay wet, that can cause um, rot in the crown. So I'm going to be doing that now, taking all the excess water off the top of it. But they've all had a bit of a clean and a good water. And that's them all had their first water of the year. So happy spring guys and happy growing season and uh, thank you all so much for your amazing support and uh, for watching the video. And as I say, if you want a full detailed video on how to grow, uh, so how to water cacti and succulents, do check that video out. As I say, the links are up above and down below. And for lots more tips and tricks on how you can care for and grow cacti and succulents, then please do subscribe to my channel. And also check out my website, Desert Plants of Avalon. Dot com. Look at that, starting to go dark. So these grow lights are coming off and the plants can enjoy their drink while they're having a lovely rest tonight. I want to send you loads of love. 
heaps of happiness and tons and tons of plant power from across the Emerald Isle. And until my next video, bye.